Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn about Matrix Cosec Panel Lite version 2 and its features. In appearance it differs from Panel Lite version 1 as it offers a switch to reset the IP address of Panel Lite. Panel Lite version 2 offers two modes of operation, Server Mode and Standalone Mode. In Server Mode we have all the configurations in Cosec applications installed on server, but in Standalone Mode we get every configuration on the web page of Panel Lite itself. So we can add panel light doors, create users and configure the access control policies from the web page of panel light. Panel light version 2 supports 25,000 users and 75 devices. This gives us a complete independent access control system without the need of computer. Let us look at some of these features by accessing the web page of Panel Lite. The default IP address of Panel Lite version 2 is 192.168.50.1. Default password for admin is 1234. Panel Lite version 2 comes with all new graphical user interface. Dashboard summarizes the devices configured, users, and access schedules. Under configuration, we can find panel light basic configurations. There is a separate tab available for network settings of panel light. Device and user details are available under appropriate tabs. It will show the device and user details whatever is configured in server. Monitor tab provides us the status of panel light doors. Currently, panel light is in server mode. We can change this mode from configuration, basic profile, panel mode. From here, we can switch between the modes. Let us choose standalone mode and save it. All settings except network settings will get defaulted. Panel light will reboot on changing its mode. Now panel light is in standalone mode and now we will not need any server computer to configure users, panel light doors and access control features. We can log into panel light using username as admin and password 1234. Dashboard will summarize devices, users and access schedules. Under panel configuration we have all panel light device configuration. We can view the configured devices and add new devices from door configuration. Existing devices will be displayed here and we can also add new device by clicking add. Specify the device details here. We can also manipulate the existing door configurations by simply clicking on it. Change the configurations as required and then save it. We have all door configurations in the respective tabs. Under user configuration, we have users configured in panel light. We can view or modify the details by clicking on the user. We can also add the users by clicking add and specifying the user details. From enrollment tab we can select the desired user and send enrollment command. Under access policies we have the configurations of access control features. We can import users, devices, shifts 
holidays and access control features from here. Different user accounts can be created and managed under user account management tab. These are the different user accounts which are already available. You can also create new account by clicking on new item in the table and give user rights as required. In the monitor tab we can view the status of panel light tools. We can also send different commands to panel light doors from here itself. Under event logs, we can view the communication between the panel light and panel light doors. We can download the selected logs on computer in .csv or .txt format. It's great, we get all the stuff in panel lights web page itself. We hope now this video has delivered and enhanced your knowledge on Panel Light version 2 and some of its exciting functionalities. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries, please contact Matrix Technical Support Team.